So I've got over 50 hours on this thing. I ordered a set of Bozeman rings a while back. I already put some Bozeman rings in early on. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these. So I can H5 attachment on this screwdriver, the hex. So these are the little small spark plugs. It looks like I'm running pretty rich here. So I may actually even lean out my fuel. Lap. The cylinder head on this one looks pretty good. I was kind of worried that maybe some sand had gotten down in there since I've been flying at the beach, but I don't see any real bad scoring. So pretty impressed with that. I'm gonna turn this one face down and see. Doesn't look too bad. So, um, especially for the amount of hours I have on it. So I don't think I'll have to replace the piston anytime soon. Or two. I'm gonna place that on there and then we've gotta find that center notch, that anti-rotation. I believe on this one, it's over here. It's on the back side, so I may have to film the other one. There's a little pin in there. It's an anti-rotation pin. So I'm gonna wedge one part of that ring up against that. And I've kinda of got this thing greased up. And so once it catches on there, I'll be able to pull this other one off and kind of rotate it. I'll try to get a different angle, but I've, I've got it started here. So this one's wedged up and repeat that process on the other side. So it just kind of comes off. I'm going to save this ring because it's still in good condition. Turn that until it catches that pin. There it is. And I just slide that bad boy on and I'm going to reposition that that around so that'll allow us to kind of squeeze that closed right. so now we're going to make sure that is aligned with that anti-rotation pin just allowing it to kind of catch take that off make sure all that is lined up right and then I'm going to press that down Too bad right there is that pin up against it that's the pin you see these have like a little notch right so I've got that lubed up and I'm just gonna peel that thing out without trying to bend it too much in case I want to reuse it you don't want to stretch these and have them mess up your cylinder head by expanding out too much let me get this one in where it touches that pin. See how I'm pressing that up against the pin? And I'm just going to slowly bring it over there until it snaps into place. And that's where we want it, right there. So that anti rotation pin kind of keeps it in place. All right, so let's see if I got that on. There we go. Got that on. I just put this in place so I wouldn't be banging that around. Didn't really need it taking the pin off. But I do like to have it in place. I'm trying to get that cylinder head back on. Get everything out. So I'm going to run all four of those down. So I went ahead and backed those back out. We're going to put some high heat thread locker on this. Make sure you don't get any down in that cylinder head. Anywhere near where the exhaust is going to be mounted or even around where the gasket was. It just takes just a drop on those threads that are going to be closest to the, the actual engine 